Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Visionary Kicks back here with another video. I don't know if I'm gonna break this. I think we're good. But no, that's gonna break. But anyways, I'm back. It's been since February, I believe, since my last video. Sorry about that. But I have been posting on Instagram Reels and on TikTok. So if you guys wanna check out my work, make sure to check me out at Visionary Kicks on all platforms. Um, I'm posting different things on there as well. But now we are back with another YouTube video. Let's get right into this Wu Tang custom table if you guys want to see. Make sure to just keep on watching. Let's get right into it. Let's go. Alright, so if you can hear, there's no music. If you can feel it, it's hot as hell. I'm already starting to sweat a little bit. I haven't even done anything. That's kind of another reason why this might be just edited or just like a time lapse type of video. Just because I need music. I need air. It's hot in here. You know, like imagine me right here, bop, or like this. So I need music, so if this is a lot of a time lapse. That's why, because I'm playing music, I'm jamming. But I will stop and talk to you guys and like let you know like I'm doing this, I'm doing that, why I'm doing this, things like that. But for the most part, when I'm actually doing like the work, this is what's gonna be on. Alright, so now I'm just painting a white border so that the yellow spray can could just kind of go on there. I need to do white border and then spray it yellow and then I'm going to put the stencils on top of that and then spray it black. Alright, so now we have basically the border uh, painted. I didn't paint primer on the inside just because this is going to be black so it's easy to cover up. This border edge is going to be black and yellow and since yellow is a lighter color I put a white base coat and then I'm just going to spray it off and then I'll put the stencil on. But now letting this dry as you can tell pretty messy. Um, next up we are going to go have some breakfast because I'm hungry and I gotta take a break. Alright so after breakfast or my break that I took earlier. I didn't come back. It is now like 10 o'clock. Whites laid down about three or four coats. Everything's dry, looking good. Now, I'm using some spray cans. Spray it yellow, like the white areas. And right now as well, I am cutting some stencils up top, doing some honeycomb and then the Wu-Tang. That's gonna be placed over the yellow once that's dried overnight. And then once I place the stencils, I'm just gonna spray everything black and then remove the stencils and the stencils are basically going to keep everything that I spray yellow and want it to be yellow is going to be stayed covered with the stencil so then you can just go ahead and spray paint it with the black so let's get painting and let's do a couple coats here on the yellow and see how it turns out I'm just using some spray cans So now it's about midnight. I laid down the yellow base as you can see. Now I'm gonna let it dry overnight. Finish up with my stencils. I'll just kind of show you guys the stencils before I put them on. Um, I do have the garage door open, this door open as well. I should be wearing a mask, I just don't know where it's at. So luckily I don't do this every day, but make sure when you guys do um, spray paint, you guys are wearing a mask or you guys are doing it outside or something like that. But yeah, let this rest overnight. Hopefully it comes out nice. Tomorrow I'll check on it and then we'll add the stencils. So let's go. See you guys tomorrow. All right, y'all. So now it's Sunday now. I kind of just put the same shirt on just so that I could get all the videos wearing this shirt and know that it's for this video. But um, the yellow is dry. Next up is to work with the stencils. Um, I have the honeycombs right here and all of these as well a bunch of different ones i'm gonna be showing you guys the peeling of the honeycomb here and then i got the wu-tang logo right here um this alone probably the stencil cutting and the peeling probably took me about an hour and a half something like that 
but this is gonna be for the borders and then the big Wu-Tang logo right in the middle. Um, should be a good one. Now let's just get into this right here and peeling off the stencil. All right, so here we are about to peel this off. Um, like I told you earlier, the tripod kind of broke my camera, um, but I just have you set up right there, so hopefully you guys can still see some good stuff, but look at that. So this is trash. Now, I gotta go in and just kind of peel this off right here. And there we have it. You got your honeycomb right here. Uh, I gotta do the rest of this real quick, but let me do that. And then I'll show you guys the peeling of the Wu-Tang logo. All right, so now for the Wu-Tang logo, we have two feet by two feet. Um, they're gonna go together. Now I just need to peel off this right here. So this right here is the bottom piece. And then I'm gonna connect it to the other one. Here we have the top. So now when I put them together, it's gonna look a little something like this. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so now we have it on the transfer tape right here. All I'm gonna do is remove it. and lay it right here, All right? And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I don't know if you're able to see that, but I got the placement down, lined it up right in the middle. Now, all I'm doing is kind of putting it down on the table, making sure it's good, and I'm just removing the traffic tape. All right, so like I said, the hole right here is gonna match up with this hole right there in the exact position. All right, so now you have the middle of the table right here with the Wu-Tang logo. Now, before I forget, I'm gonna just cover this hole back up with some tape, nothing crazy there. Next up, um, I am doing the borders stenciled as well. Um, one thing that they wanted was a two inch border and then the honeycomb three inches. The tape is two inches, so I'm gonna just place this down all around the table, just so that I could place the honeycomb right above it. So everything you see that has the tape on it right here, it is gonna be a black edge, and then everything above it is gonna be the honeycomb. So now I just gotta start laying down the stencils. This is probably gonna take forever. All right, y'all, so now we have completely put up all the honeycomb border, taped up everything. Now, I'm just gonna remove this last piece right here. All right, so now I peeled it off. Now, let me show you what it looks like real quick before we actually paint it. So here we have the Wu-Tang logo right in the middle. Then we have a smaller honeycomb 
right down the middle of it and then we have the border honeycomb as well and then we're gonna have the black piping as well right here so basically the thing that I did here was use the stencils to keep everything that I want yellow all right so now everything looks like it's laid down nicely now it's just spraying it up and hopefully it comes out good All right, y'all, so I did three coats of black with like dry times of like 15 minutes in between each coat. Um, it's gonna look pretty good. I already kind of peeled a little bit of the stencil off and it looks sick, um, but now it's one in the morning, so I'm gonna let it dry overnight, and then once I get off of work tomorrow, I'll do some more coats, let it sit, do some more coats. I'll probably do like three or four more coats tomorrow, and then let that one dry, and then Hopefully by then on Tuesday, I could actually peel everything off and we'll have a completed table. So for now, letting this dry, I'm gonna go to bed because I gotta wake up in four hours for work. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, uh, so we are back. Now it's time to peel the stencils. I let it dry, it's pretty good. Now I'm just gonna peel off all the stencils. I'll show you guys close-ups because I feel like this is gonna be the most satisfying part. So. Let's get into this, let's get a close-up of me feeling the stencil. All right, y'all, now we have the border stencil peeled off, as you can tell. You got the yellow honeycomb all around. You have your two inch border with the three inch honeycomb. Now all we need left is the middle honeycomb and then the big Wu-Tang logo. Like you guys just saw, I peeled the Wu-Tang logo and it honestly looks pretty sick. The stencils worked, everything looks pretty good. Now, I'm gonna let it sit like this for a little bit, then I'm gonna put a clear coat on top of it and then we'll be done with the table. Alright guys, so you guys can tell, it's been a couple of days. I let this sit for a while, it's nice and glossy now. Got a new shirt on. Got a fresh cut, shout out to my barber, yeah, yeah. But here it is, finally completed. The boys are gonna come pick it up right now. I'm gonna cover it, kind of get the reaction. But yeah, it's finished. I'll get some cool B-roll shots outside with the sun so you guys can get a better look at this. And again, this is eight feet by four feet. If you guys want to see anything else pretty crazy like this leave a comment down below what you guys want to see next and if you guys like this don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace